Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here with another reaction video of Ahsoka. Episode four, part four today. Sorry, scratch that. Part five, episode five. Man, time really flies. We left off on a doozy last episode. They used hyperspace travel and their big old round machine and it really shook Hera and friends. And we have Ahsoka in no man's land, the worlds in between, the afterlife, the force. I don't know, mystery, but we're gonna find out. Super excited. Yeah, so, and Sabine got taken away with them. So we're in quite an interesting pickle. Don't know what to think. I'm just excited and ready to see what's in store. So without further ado, let's get to it. Oof. So excited. So, oh yeah, Huyang is under, his, uh, assuming he's alone. Well, he just knows they're not there. He doesn't know where they went or what happened to Sabine or Soka. We don't know what happened to Ahsoka. Oh, that's cool. They would land there. And the ghost looks freaking awesome, man. Copy, General. There's nothing on the scope. Where is Okay, everyone? Carson confirmed. Okay. That's what worries me. Mom? Jason, do you sense something? Can I come out now? All right. But don't wander off too far. We don't know this planet, so keep Chopper with you. Come on, Chopper. Chopper! Bow, 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 bow. Oh, he's got a little shoulder pad, like Kanan did. <laughs> oh. oh. Ahsoka's not dead. No way. I told them to stay together. But they never listen. Sad. They never listen. I wonder how much he knows. Where is she? Shadow Warrior. Do not suggest to me she's gonna be guiding from the Force. No, okay. Oh my gosh, we gotta see more of Anakin? Anakin. She's acting like herself. You look the same. <laughs> you look old. Well, that happens. Actually, what happened? You lost a fight. I don't remember. Trust me. You lost. Palin's skull. So you do remember. That's good. Why? It means you still have a chance. A chance? To live. Tell me what's going on. So it is like Perbicurian. I'm here to finish your training. Oh. Uh, <gasps> what? It's a little late. Wait, for that. Force Ghost? Is she? One is never too old to learn, Snips. Oh, we get to see. All right. Live. Or die. I won't fight you. Oh, this is taking a different turn. I've heard that before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa! Get it, Hayden. He's got to sense something. He's a little Kanan baby. We're overdue at HQ. Senator Ogana says Maybe. she can only give us cover for so long. Ogana? 
Well, we're not going anywhere until I know exactly People what happened. People are gonna here. start asking questions. Mom. Mom. Not now, Jason. Uh, yes, we now. We might benefit from people asking a few more questions. Not if we don't have any answers. But, Mom, there's something about the water. Yes, yes. What is it, Jason? There's something out there, Mom. I can feel it. Gurgel? Chopper? Monster? Mom, listen. I am. No, listen to the waves. General? Okay. Trust your child! What are we listening for? Yeah. The lightsabers. What? Carson, get your squadron airborne. I need so you out over many. the ocean, low altitude, full sweep. We already did that. Well, we're doing it again. Jason has abilities. His father, Kanan Jarrus, was a Jedi. Okay. We better get on it then. Lander, get everyone moving. We're they going said back up this again. Thing. Whoa, whoa. Agility. I'm no Jedi. Looks like you don't have much left to offer. I haven't taught you everything yet. <laughs> Cheater. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is younger her. Is that Rex? The battle's not over yet. Oh, he's there are blinded. more separate asteroids approaching. Is there a problem? We lost so many. There was always a price to be paid. It was my fault. They were following my orders. I got them killed. Come here. This is war, Ahsoka. As Jedi, it's our job to lead. That doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. Our mistakes cost lives. That doesn't bother you? Of course it does. This, this isn't what I trained for. You must adjust to the times. Look, when Obi-Wan taught me, so we were good. keepers of the peace. But now, to win this war, I have to teach you to be a soldier. Is that all I'll have to teach my own Padawan one day? How to fight? Do you even want a Padawan? So good. You know, teaching's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> really? What makes you say that? I'm joking. You're joking? Yeah, I'm joking. 
How can you joke at a time like this? What would you prefer? Tell me, what do you want? You want me to be more serious? I'd prefer it. Listen, I'm teaching you how to lead, how to survive. And to do that, you're going to have to fight. What if I want to stop fighting? Then you'll die. Let's go. <laughs> it's fresh. Ah, uh, so good. <sighs> I can't. I'm just in disbelief. Oh, double saber time. Oh. Fight for Mandalore? Oh my gosh, the aging. We'll secure the perimeter. Come on, come on, let's go! My Rexy! Bertano Troopers. I don't know this battle. This was the oh, siege his hand. of Mandalore. We had parted ways by now. Looks intense. It was. You did well. You're a warrior now, as I trained you to be. Is that all? Yes. Ahsoka, within you will be everything I am. All the knowledge I possess. Just as I inherited knowledge from my master, and he from his. You're part of a legacy. My part of that legacy is one of death and war. But you're more than that. Because I'm more than that. You are more, Anakin. But more powerful and dangerous than anyone realized. Is that what this is about? If I am everything you are... You've learned nothing. Don't say that! Back to the beginning. I gave you a choice. Live. It's Red Boy already. Or die. Oh my. Angry. No. Incorrect. There's hope for you yet. And I can. Jason, you saved her. Oh, it is 
like his. The shoulder. Oh, weird. We don't see her without the headpiece very often. Welcome back, Lady Tello. Aww. Your buddy. Tenacious. How long have I been out? One rotation. However, you might have been lost for good. Oh. Ahsoka! <laughs> you gotta train him next. I owe you my. That's kind of like a, an echo, like what Cal can do. You will be reunited with your friend. Do it for Ezra. I know how to follow Sabine. We're all going on a ride. There's no other way. Without the map, we don't have the proper hyperspace coordinates. What, are they gonna try to get eaten? She's not. Oh, is she gonna try to communicate, or is she trying to go in outside of a ship? I don't know. Oh, clear of their path. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Like, it seemed the obvious option to have these creatures that clearly Ezra made connections with and what allowed them to travel that Ahsoka could attempt as well. Wow. So, obviously, next episode, well, the next few, I imagine, are going to be in whatever <laughs> galaxy universe that everyone's in everyone that's traveled's in so a lot of exciting things coming up potentially saving ezra ron and yeah i mean that alone uh, a lot of awesome moments in this episode just uh seeing hayden christensen with upholding more anakin mantle and not just like anakin now or Anakin when he was younger, seeing their costumes, their uniforms, seeing Rex, seeing all the clone babies, seeing a Siege of Mandalore and the Clone Wars, that whole flashback or time travel, I don't know, whatever you want to think of it. 
very cool. Just the whole uh, Between the Worlds experience was very satisfying. Really well done. The visuals were great. Hayden did amazing acting. They really channeled what we saw of Anakin and Snips, aka Ahsoka, um, in that experience. And, and honestly portrayed the realistic experiences of war. You know, sometimes it's kind of glamorized when we see Star Wars and flashing and these brief kind of moments. But you see that they show kind of the feelings and the reality and Ahsoka demonstrating like with that one clone placing your hand there, knowing that suffering and having that moment was really sweet. And her acknowledging that like my legacy's death and war and pain and all this suffering. And you know, it's a really hard thing to, you know, measure yourself by. And I thought it was good that, you know, she had that kind of moment of doubt and acknowledgement, but also combating her master who embraced the dark side and saying, I want to live and fighting for it and having this desire to do that. And even after she returned, having that like, just kind of letting go and being like, it's better than doing nothing. It's almost kind of like she was channeling Anakin in that moment when he was in that teacher status, feeling that confidence before he started embracing kind of some dark sides of the force. Definitely a moment of maturity, a newfound kind of enlightenment from that experience. And I think there's probably some, you know, symbolism through the white, donning the white poncho and the outfit. I think someone commented on a previous video about, like Gandalf, she became Ahsoka the White from her previous gray outfit. So I love that little symbolism thing. So yeah, I'm excited to see in future episodes how this kind of new awakening takes form and obviously what were the reality of us seeing potentially these other characters as well as the growth from Sabine from this whole experience like there's a lot of emotions potential betrayal and the loss of her master this sense of excitement and in, in getting something back that she had once lost with Ezra and measuring on if this was worth the sacrifice she made of potentially again starting a war with Thrawn returning. So yeah, a lot of really interesting good things to come. Honestly, I'm very satisfied, very happy with what Ahsoka has offered and brought to us so far. I mean, I've been, this episode was just amazing all around. It, just all the things I've said. Um, and then of course, I love the moments of Jason mentioning our dear Kanan, you know, referencing that and his tie and connection to the Force, like confirming something we already knew, but just reconfirming that he has that, you know, a powerful connection to the Force to be able to sense that and getting this feeling in him reaching into it. Now, they were kind of hinting with the Hiang being like, no, I'm not gonna build a favor. No, I'm not gonna train you. But there's potential. And I feel like it's even could potentially leaning into Ahsoka being that option. But anyways, that's for another time to think about. But overall, great episode. Happy to have seen it. And I'm looking forward to the future episodes. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and like it. And also subscribe if you're not already. Hit the subscribe button. I recommend turning on the bell to be notified when the video goes live. Because the time's not always consistent. And we still have... Uh, three episodes or so remaining of the show. So at the very least, it's worth it for that um, and other things to come in the future. So guys, appreciate you and I will see you on the next one.